Okay, as I said before, the third category uh, that we're gonna analyze here is the mods, the modded weapons. And so far the only one that I have found that it's able to kill this ship is the nuke launcher by Eichester. And you may know Eichester uh, from his decorations pack. And I did say that I'm using the Eichester decorations inside of many of my ships. Okay, you can see the Invader Cruiser is doing this pattern thing, trying to attack the debris left by the torpedo. And now this nuke launcher, uh, the missiles that it shoots, they're quite interesting. They look like, um, you know, like 50s era nuclear bombs. Uh, pretty much retro looking. They do kind of remind me of the, you know, the whole Fallout series. Um, art style and they are a little bit faster than the full speed of the game I think it's 125 meters per second but they are way slower than the regular rockets so it's going to be tricky to put the nukes on target just because uh, them being slower they are an easier target for the the cruisers gatling guns So let's give it a try. As you can see, the cruiser is really way, way faster than the Calypso. It has more thrusters, and the Calypso is smaller, but I have to say, it's. Oh. <laughs> the Calypso is actually made of heavy armor, I'm just realizing that that's a, a piece the previous cruiser that we tried on the, <coughs> the torpedo, the Reaper. Okay, I was saying, so movement, speed, angular momentum, trajectories. We have to devise some protocols for these space battles, because so far the limitation of the highest speed, the top speed of the game, is the biggest concern. Okay. Well, it's looking belly up. The maximum range of this weapon is, I think, it's one kilometer and a half, and yeah, 1.5 kilometers. So, let's see if I can shoot them now. There we go. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a pain. Okay, I'm being engaged. It's gonna be a full-on battle then.
piece, that little piece is shooting at me. So, that's what I said before, right? These ships have so many redundancies. So, even when they're broken apart, Last try on the nook. No. No, too slow. Way too slow. Okay, I just wanna disarm this thing. Okay, apparently it's done. Mm, 
still has one turret active. From where? Well, anyway. Ah, I see. Okay, I don't believe this. Come on, shoot the turrets. Shoot the damn turrets. Completely unnecessary. So let's let's inspect the damage. Basically the bow section is destroyed along with the launchers, both the nukes and the rocket launchers. The forward 50 mm quad guns, one of the main battery guns. Secondary armament, missile turrets and Gatling guns is okay. The communications antenna is okay. The enemy cruiser is being disarmed and the cockpits taken care of. Basically, as for the mod goes, that counts as a kill. So the enemy cruiser is just drifting away. But let's stop here for a second. Let's use the spectator camera. Okay, let's. Is this thing? What? What's shooting? Oh, the Calypso is shooting. Okay. Let's paste back the damaged cruiser and compare it to the Calypso. Okay, let's do an actual inspection. The whole goal with this test is to see how you outweigh the damage received as compared to damage done. Because you have to take into consideration that if you're playing survival, um, everything that gets damaged is going to have to be repaired by either capturing enemy vessels, grinding them down, and those are like working hours that you have to put in, or mining and producing and manufacturing. And during that time, if you have this mod active, the invaders mod, um, more enemies are going to keep coming at you. So this is the list of damage blocks. 
it's well you saw the damage externally so at least our design worked here the CIC is intact I cannot say the same for the bridge so let's start the the battle protocol that we should have started before and it's depressurizing all the compartments it's closing all the doors unlocking them but okay we're not gonna close the doors because we do want to make the inspection okay CIC does have oxygen let's see cargo hold depressurize yeah whole bridge it's a single hole bridge that's interesting right in the middle right in the bulkhead between the hole bridge and the engineering section which means engineering is also depressurized I wonder if this section oh it's the same section oh, silly me oh okay apparently the let's see we do have pressure here so that's a good thing vehicle bay or the hangar bay is still pressurized so that means no damage could have done could have come to the drones although we have closer hits okay, let's check this one ooh yeah bulkhead gone this is where the med bay used to be main stairwell got a whole bridge let's see crew compartment now crew compartment let's check what's the air okay yeah we have pressure here so the crew compartment survived. So far, the important components survived. The only one being um, the med base. Look at damage. Okay, mess hole is completely destroyed. The self repair system for these forward guns is gone too. Oh, let's see. See how bad. Okay, this welder is working, although it's not fully connected to the conveyor system because of the damage. The nuke launcher, the damage, as we saw, was resisted, you know, complete destruction. Camera is gone, we have a floating, free floating gyroscope. Well, so far the damage is not catastrophic. And the Calypso is designed to take damage on the front side, exactly on its nose. Um, keep these guns from being destroyed because these are the ones that do, you know, the heavy hitting. See, we have some stray hits that depressurize the navigational bridge. Midships quad guns are okay. So it's basically damage the front section and some random hit took out the connector here and depressurized the aft section but weapons wise this ship is still operational at least 90% <clears throat> now considering that we would have to capture this one and grind it down and basically repair the Calypso with its pieces by cannibalizing it. That means that we would have 
to make a really really big effort in catching up and capturing you know uh, dogging it somehow but if this thing is going at full speed forget it you're not gonna catch it so the damage that you took here trying to destroy this thing or trying to prevent this thing from destroying your uh, other like less the you know less armored or let's say undefended uh, ships and stations you're gonna have to come out of you know your own mining and maybe capturing enemy vessels so so far we have yet to find a weapon that can actually stop these ships preemptively I guess we need to try something with decoys maybe creating this drone kinda like this small drone that would come close enough to this vessel and fire a nuke into it while it distracts its turrets with the decoys okay that's gonna be the main theme for the next episode now that we know that getting a perfect hit with um, an inertial torpedo or a kinetic based torpedo like the, the Reaper or any other player design uh, requires a lot of skill and um, it also requires a preset of conditions the ship uh, flying at you not away from you and especially if it's flying away from you at full speed you won't be able to catch it so the ship has to be flying at you you will have to hit it in a section so that you damage or destroy most of its weapons or manage to disable it so it drifts away in a single direction those are the conditions that you have to meet for basically disabling these large vessels with a river torpedo I mean basically it's up to your skill on how you land that hit so as for the second category of gravity weapons I would say that you can use those against stations stationary targets uh, unsuspected ships but for a fast moving target like these ones you will require like a lot of targeting aids and basically basically be be super precise with it like so far it's beyond my skill I'm not saying that any other players out there can do it maybe you can and if you can please upload a video and show it to me I would really like to learn how to do it how to aim properly with those gravity guns but still the gravity guns, the ore cannons, uh, you know, firing debris like stones at ships it doesn't do as much damage as the Reaper does nor does it do much damage as the the nuke launcher does so that's it for the, the second option, the ore cannon and now, finally for the nuke well, basically like I said before, you need to get close to it because this missile is really really slow and fire it with a small drone basically knowing that the drone is going to be taken out by the this whole like explosion not the shockwave because there are no shockwaves in space it's basically the expanding plasma that this thing generates when it contacts so just for the fun of it let's try shooting a nuke at the wreckage of the cruiser so you know the only way to be sure is to nuke the entire site from orbit so let's do it although it's not a site it's a cruiser and we are not in orbit there you go magic disappearance complete destruction of the light armor and only heavier interior components remain the nuke basically is a higher power regular you know rocket
Okay. That's been all for now. I hope you enjoyed this rather long testing video of weapons that can help you defeat larger capital ships. Um, please uh, show me what you have found, or your findings, your experiments, um, your own experiences with such weapons. Uh, in which cases you find them effective, in which cases you find them like not that helpful. What kind of ships um, do you want to put them on? But it would be like the ideal delivery vehicle for each one of them. Okay, take care.